Right, this is a, a merit question now, so we're getting a little bit more deeper into the sort of situation of calculus here. Uh, and this is a, what they call a maximum minimum sort of question. Very, very key words there, maximum minimum. This is a plate, it could be a copper plate, steel plate, it doesn't actually say it. But it's got dimensions of 240 from left to right, the length, and 150. Obviously that's the width or breadth, we used to call it the breadth years ago, same thing. And we're going to cut these little, well it's a square you see, so if we can find the side x here, we'll call it x, that's the same as that, that's x, that's x, every single one of them will be x because it's a square. But if you look at that question, that's the key word. All the students must look and they can see, ah, oh, maximum, it's one of them type of questions. So what we're going to actually do is take you through this particular problem to sort of solve it completely. So what we'll do is we'll move this down now. We don't really need that. So the first thing to do is who remembers how you find the volume of a shape like a box? Yeah? You might see a length, length times breadth times height. Yeah? Length times breadth times height, or height times length times breadth. It doesn't really matter. Two threes are six. Yeah? Three twos are six. It doesn't matter which way you put them down. But we will get three dimensions. Metres, see, or millimetres times millimetres. And then millimetres again, millimetres cubed or whatever. Yeah? So, what do we need to know? Well, first of all, we can talk about that corner piece. The corner piece of that drawn, that's x. And if it's a square, that's x. And that's x. And that's x. Yeah? So, what we can actually see is, if you turn it up, if you turn the thing, the metal, that's going to be x. Now, be careful with this bit because we want to look at the length and the width there. If you remember, the width was 240 all the way across, so we've actually got 240, but we had two of these. We had one at one end and one at the other end, you see? So we've got to take 2x off that, if you think about it, yeah? And on the other end we had, I believe it was 150, yeah? It was 150, and again it's got one of these at the bottom and one of these at the top, so we must take 2x off that as well. Okay. Right, this looks a little bit dodgy at the moment because at the end of the day we've got to try and multiply this. Yeah. So if you remember when we did binomials and quadratics, what you could do, we call it the smiling face or the lobster claw and what have you, but basically what you do is this times this, and then you do this times this. Okay? And then when you've done in, that's, that's when you've done in, you'll do this one times this one, and then this one times this one. You can see the claw. The student told us that. I never got taught that. A student taught me that about the claw, and I thought it was a good idea to, to mention that. Uh, so let's go for it. Right? We've got, basically, we want to have this 240, see that one, times this one. So we've now got 36,000. Yeah, that's that one. But then we've got 240 times this one, but it's a minus. A plus times a minus is a minus. Two of them, so that's 480x. Can you see that? That times that is 480x. We've finished him on the left. Now let's go to this one on the right. We've got to do this one times this one. Minus times the plus is a, a minus. And we've got two of them, so that's 300x. And finally... That one times that one. But a minus times a minus is a plus. So I must put the plus there, see that? And then we've got 2 by 2 is 4. And the next one and the next one, when you multiply them together, you add the indices, so it's x2 or x squared. Yeah? x squared. I'll just fit that on there, just. And the bracket, don't forget the bracket. Right. You'll get there. No, yeah, you did. Right? It's not complete. It's not complete because we've now got to multiply this by this by this, etc. Yeah? But before we do that, can anybody see in the middle? If we can tidy the middle up. I don't know if anybody's noticed. Can I remember I said, me old teacher used to see a like signs, you hadn't keep the sign. Here it comes again. Like signs, see that? Like signs, you hadn't keep the sign. So that's it. Yeah? Plus your 4x squared. Yeah, that's it. Right, that's a bit tidier. Yeah? Now we can multiply this one by this one. This is the volume, remember. So we've got 36,000 
x minus 780. x1 and an x1 multiply, add the indices. So that's an x1 and an x1 gives us an x2. Ah, look at this. 4, that's a 1 there. 1 is 4 is 4. And an x2 and an x1 gives us an x3. Okay. That doesn't look tidy to me. Uh, I'd like to do it cubed, then squared, then x. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just rearrange it. I'll put it in a different colour so you can see what happens. I'm not altering the equation at all. So if I put volume there, see that 4x cubed? I don't need to put a plus in the front because it's already established that it is a plus. The next one, be careful, that is a minus there. That definitely is a minus. And we've got a plus. See this plus here? So this is a plus 36,000 x, don't forget the x, yeah? So we're now at this stage now, which is our equation for volume, okay? Right, so now what we're going to do now is we're halfway through the problem, so what we'll do is we'll have to get rid of that and start at the very, well, start at the top again. Right, so we have got volume, this is just writing down what we did earlier on, 4x cubed, do you remember? Minus 780, whoops, 780, I think I'll do that one again, do that one again, 780, yeah, that was an x squared plus the 36,000 and that was an x. Right, one of the facts, key facts you must remember, you must remember this key fact. When we teach the maximum minimum, it always occurs at dy by dx, in this case, dv by dx, when it equals zero. When it equals zero, that first differential, that's when the turning point or the maximum or minimum occurs. So what do we do? See the v and the x? dv by dx. dv by dx. Shove it to the front and we'll take one off. So that's 12x squared. Yeah, so we've got minus 1560. Yeah, and that's x1 plus 36 yeah so we've actually differentiated just like we did in earlier examples yeah so what can we do to make things easy now well we've got to put that equal to zero huh? we've got to do that but before we can do that can you see we can divide by 12 just to make life easy because if you divide it by 12 we've now got x squared minus yeah 130 x yeah plus 3,000 and we've got to put it equal to zero now this now I think I'll change colour now this is what they call a quadratic equation yeah a quadratic equation and what we can do now is use this typical idea this is a typical idea of a quadratic if you remember uh, on your unit 4 We've now got to ascertain the variables a, b and c quite quite easily. See the a there? There's a 1 there, see that? A plus 1. So a is equal to a 1. The b there, ah, look at it, it's a minus. See, the b is actually a minus. So in this case, the b is a minus 130. And finally, ah, we've got a 3000. It's not a minus, it's a plus. So that's a 3000. Right. We're halfway through now, because now we've got these parameters, we can put it into the quadratic formula. Okay, so we'll do that now. So the quadratic formula, we'll get rid of that. Yeah. Now, again, when I was at school, we got kicked up the backside to remember this formula. So the formula, I'm sure you all remember, is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2 times a. Minus b. Now, didn't we say that b was minus 30? Remember we said it was minus 30? Well, actually minus 130, I think it was. Minus 130. So we'll put that down as minus 130. Plus or minus, this, this bit, square root of b squared. So it's minus 130 squared minus 4 times a. A was 1, if you remember, and I believe the C was 3,000. That's it, 3,000. Yeah, all divided by 2 times A. A was 1, 2 once is 2. 
Right, what's a minus one times this? It's a plus. So that's a plus 130, plus or minus. Now, this is where students go wrong. If you did minus 130 squared, you'd probably get the answer wrong because you've got to put it in brackets. Yeah, you must put it in brackets on the calculator. Or you can just logically say minus times a minus is a plus, and then you just do 130 squared. But if you do that, 130 squared, we actually get a big number there, 16900, 16,900. And if you multiply all that, no prizes for getting it, getting it but you'll actually get 12,000. Yeah, 12,000 divided by 2. Yeah. So it's actually going to be very simple now because what we do is take this away and then we're going to square root it and get two answers. So finally, I'll get rid of this now. So finally, we're at the last stages now. If you did do that little takeaway there, you will have got 130 plus or minus, yeah, the square root of 4,900 divided by 2, yeah, and this is x, remember. Square root that, yeah, and on the calculator, and you get 70, yeah. So we're now at the stage like this. Now I like to do this that way and that way. I always do it that way, I think. Two sums, 130 plus 70 is 200 divided by 2. So that's one of them. See that? 200 divided by 2, obviously 100 millimetres. Yeah, and the other one, see this one at the bottom, 130 minus the 70, which is the 60, divided by 2, and we get 30 millimetres. Now, one of them is good and one of them's rubbish. And you've got to logically decide which is the right one. Okay? Because it's a quadratic, x squared, that's why we've got two answers, by the way. That will never fit on that question, that 100 millimetres. If you think of that question, the only one that would fit is the 30 millimetres. You see? If you look at that diagram, it was 150 on the width, so the 30 and the 30 would fit quite well. If you had 150 on the right, that's too big. Okay? So that's the answer. That is the answer. But we're still not finished. We're still not finished because we've got a test. Test for maximum or minimum. Okay. Now, again, what we need to do is differentiate it twice. So we do d2v by dx squared. And if it's positive, if it's positive, it's a minimum. All right. If it's negative, it's a maximum. All right. Now, how do you remember that? Right. Positive, be positive in life, and you'll have minimum stress. That's how you remember it. See that? Positive in life, and you'll have minimum stress. Right? But we want to be a minus. Why do we want to be a minus? It's because we want a maximum. We want the maximum volume. So we hopefully, hopefully we'll get a minus. Okay? So let's just see what happens. We're just at the, the very end of this now. So we're testing now. So can you remember we had dv by dx? was equal to 12x squared uh, minus 560x plus 36,000. And we've got to differentiate it again, so that's d2v by dx squared. And that, two of it to the front, take one off, so that's 24x minus 1560. That disappears, of course, the number disappears. And we put the 30 in, because we said it was 30, didn't we? So we've got 24 times the 30, which is the 720, minus the 5, well, the 1560, so we've now got minus the 40. Ah, look at that. The number is insignificant, the number, but the sign is minus. And I said to you, if it's positive in life, it's a minimum. This is negative, so it's a maximum. So we proved, in fact, that that is the maximum volume for that particular problem.